Oh hey boys, welcome, welcome to another video on the channel. We are back with our Bulldogs career mode save post NRL season. Back with some quarterfinals action in the Rugby League World Cup, playing as Tor Samoa. Now, a little disclaimer, it's been a minute since I touched this game. I've been playing the old games, League Life 2, recently League Life 3. So I may be a little rusty, not to make it excuses already before the game's even started. Probably not the best idea to jump straight back in to an elimination game, but uh, one thing we have going for us is that it's France, you know? Shouldn't be too much of a hassle, we should get the win if we don't. I'm deleting my channel. Next minute we actually lose. Like I said, it's been a little bit since I've played League of 4. I've been jamming the old games, League Life 2, and more recently League Life 3. Not recording for League Life 3, just playing on there. And I'll tell you man, going from League Life 2 to 3 is such a downgrade, gameplay wise especially. Everything in League Life 3 Let's just say it didn't age well. Feels goofy as, as we almost get Lou Eye through the line. That's tackle four, hands off. Fourth. Where's the milf? No 40 20. Damn. <coughs> Bit of an underwhelming into the set. Milf getting smashed as he kicks. Oops. The skipper leading by example. Junior Paolo with the shot. Looking to double up with Tino for Asu Maliawi. Unable to do so. Quick play the ball, trying to catch that marker offside. Are oh, the French. Are oh, they moving pretty good? Again, they run from marker. From dummy half. <laughs> just tried the running him over. Ran straight to him. Stood his ground at the fullback. As for Asu Maliawi. It's over one. Can't find a supporter. And the penalty, the French. Sacre bleu. I believe that's holy in French. If I'm wrong, my bad. But I've heard that expression so many times in movies. All right, let's try and put something together here. <coughs> Steamrolling run and defend. Put it down, brother. Junior Paolo. I didn't even press defend. I was still holding on to the, uh, to the bump. That happens sometimes, eh, when they defend on their own after a line break as critter off the left boot i did see a message in discord about this went ahead and changed it right, let's go ahead and pull him off as well chuck in a loyai critter oh, get out of the way who was that look at that kick we're getting we're getting sold off our um, kick distance both playmakers let's see loyai now Again, look at that. That is rubbish. Spring here. Ooh, he rocks us. Looking for our boy Tunnel. Panther to Panther. Well looked after there. Is that a four? That's tackle four. Hands off. Let's see a distance now. Nope, again. Trash distance. I wonder what the cause is, eh? Because. His, uh, his stamina is all good. Something's got to be triggering it. As we finally take down Julien. He's held there. That's a great bit of play by the French and a nice offload. They always got some tricks up their sleeve. The legendary AI. Ooh, I was looking for the shot on uh, Spring Air. Trying to get back on him. Again, they... <laughs> they debate us. Catch. Good tackle. Jerome Luai. Another big hit for Spring Air. Hey, man. I respect it. It did to work in our middle. I'm not going to lie. Eh? Oh, come on. Two more plays for the French. The old switcheroo. Oh no, Tino. I wasn't even paying attention to the stamina. 
All right, so I was saying not to expect much in attack, and so far we've only put six points on the board against the French, who have been pretty decent. Uh, looking at the stats, we should be up by more, man. 63%, nine from nine completions, no errors, no penalties conceded. As for the bench, Tino gone for the game. That's poor management by us, I guess. What we'll do is we'll throw Harris Tavita in for Aloyai, who's at 30%, and we'll swap him off Braden. We can also bring in Luch for, uh, let's go for the more fatigued, Vitella Mariner. How does Brian Toto not have a fend? His max, uh, his powers on max, bro. All right, that's some uh, legend defense for you. And the cheeky scoots. Sheesh, that's a ballsy pass. They got us. They got us with this animation right here. The back grab. They knew who they wanted. Straight out to their back rower. One on one with Critter. Unfortunately, couldn't hold him. Get back. Look at me. Help. I'm just trying to focus on making as many meters as we can, Brian. To oh, finally offend, but we do get driven back. Looking to just pump this downfield. Oh, look at that distance. It's about damn time. Will it bounce? Yes, it will. That's a 40 20. One for the ages. Man, that's tough for the French. They were. They're doing pretty well in defense. Well, that wasn't it. Second. Luchle Lua finds Milford. And he just skips across defenders. We finally get over for our second try of the game. Is that the straw to break the camel's back? Have the floodgates been opened? We'll soon find out. Back to Luch. No fend for us. That's one. Move. Bring in Polo. Oh, that's Two. also for Aloyaya Lock. Bit of a rough one there, just trying to make some meters any way we can with Milford. Slow out of marker. Oh, that's a money. What a short ball. And a little inside. A little cut back on the inside. Jerome Luai sets up shit now harris tavita still plenty of work for harris tavita to beat the fullback we get there in the end that was uh that's some nice clean passing between two playmakers so we actually had junior paulo running out the back but we go short it's a nice little pass here by Lu Ai. look at that inside the prop and we cut super early on the fullback and barely get away well it felt like we barely got away but there's actually a bit of distance between us and the defenders yeah, one thing about League Life 3 that I've noticed are uh, the field. The field feels so much bigger on that game. It's tough to uh, tactically kick, I guess. Not sure if I like it more or like it less. What the hell was that? They've officially thrown in the towel. That's our boy the hammer gets wrapped up. He's set up to the right. We've got numbers to the left here. The fin from Tunnel. And the draw and pass, Taylor May. We'll seal this. That's the cherry on top, baby. Look, it took ages. But we uh, we're finally starting to cook here towards the end of the game. Full time, full time. In the end, we get by comfortably. A well-deserved man of the match for Anthony Milford. It was his 40-20 that turned the tides. Now, that was one of the rare times where we got pretty much max distance with the clearance kick on the last. And near the kick just made it before the corner post. Uh, that could have went either way. We advance to the semi-final. Who we play? I do not know. But for now, we're going to wrap it up there, boys, as always. If you enjoyed that, I would like to see more rugby league-related content or more content in general. Be sure to sub to the channel and don't forget to run the shit at that like button. Thanks for tuning in. And I'll see you, you, you. Later.